it's me, Walt Frazier. I haven't done a political video in a very long time. I love political comedy. I get busy doing other things. But today was one of those days of trying to work all day. I had the news on in the background and just one thing after another. And today we are so excited to present to you the GOP Sweet 16. Donald Trump is leading the pack now, but is that real? Are the GOP wingnuts sending a message to the establishment? Or is the DNC playing a really bad practical joke? I mean, seriously, so far he's the Teflon Don though, right? Surviving one bad joke after another, and that's just his own policies. Never mind all the gas about John McCain and immigration. Anyhow, George Pataki is a long shot according to the New York Times. Basically, if gays and pro-choice swing Republican this year, Pataki is your guy relatively speaking to the rest of the GOP pack. But Bernie Sanders should keep them at the DNC functions just long enough for Hillary to swing that one. Lindsey Graham may get a bump this week, even though being single at your age makes most of the GOP hardliners think that you're gay. Your call center plans to be overloaded for folks calling you thanks to Mr. Trump giving everybody in the world your phone number. <laughs> hey, don't feel so bad. Apparently John McCain's is in the bathroom stall. Hey, for a good time, call the non-war hero. Anyhow, that's my universal Donald Trump impersonation. Sorry, sorry, I made that joke at the backstage of Letterman while getting my own hair and makeup and the guy doing my hair was like, he's right there. Chris Christie is besides himself, literally. Hey, I get to make fat jokes, right? All right. I was really hoping Chris Christie would win because I'm figuring I would have a real future in sketch comedy. Really, I, there's still hope. But Donald Trump is beating him at his own bully game. Hey, let's face it, Donald Trump stops traffic in New York almost daily with all his building projects. John Kasich entered the race today making this entire video premise possible. Thanks, John. When you hear John speak, you like what you hear. Then you hear folks from Ohio speak about John Kasich. Next, Scott Walker's the guy that you really could go get a beer with, you know? But then you realize he just may bring the beast. Like Milwaukee's best, Scott Walker leaves that bad taste in your mouth, you know? Wait, never mind. Um, let's just say job creation and union busting usually sound like they are total contrasts. So I say your right to work is revoked. Rick Santorum, wow, you're back. You came that close, huh? Those coal miners of Western Pennsylvania almost carried the entire country for you, huh? They couldn't even carry the whole state for you, right? I'm Catholic and I really don't want to hear you lecture. I mean, chances are you're not going to carry your state or your religion, so... If you even make it past the Fox primaries in August, I, I can't sit through that again. That was, that was painful four years ago. Ben Carson, I know you're currently from Maryland, but originally from Detroit, so you make the perfect candidate to be my fourth in the northern quad of my Sweet 16 bracket. It just worked out kind of nicely that way. Unfortunately, I cannot see the GOP voting for you, and you don't make pizza, so... Uh, Marco Polo! Sorry, couldn't resist. Did you ever really think that terrible performance after the State of the Union a few years ago that anyone would ever consider you a serious candidate for the president? I think you're a nice guy, most of the time. But for a Cuban American to flip-flop on immigration so often, adios? Oh, I'm gonna catch flack for that one. <laughs> Rand Paul, but my daddy said I could be president. He promised, ah, look out, he's got a chainsaw, ah. The KY candidate is just way too slick for my taste, and then he gets way too nutty. Just when you think Rand Paul looks like the right guy for the job, he opens his mouth and talks. Bobby Jindal, ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was that uh, over tanned lady from New Jersey. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it takes a lot to make the state that houses New Orleans look really uncool, but you succeed somehow. Maybe one last meeting with Sidney Jacobs. I mean, you kind of make Ted Cruz look like a progressive. And now for the bracket of Texas. Uh, sorry, Carly, I know you're actually from California now, but like many ball teams, you're being lumped into Texas out of convenience. 
you know, like the Phoenix Cardinals being in the Eastern Conference for so many years, yada, yada, yada. But you were born in Texas, so deal with it. As well as I don't expect GOP to vote for a woman, I'm sorry, Ben Carson has a better chance. Ted Cruz was looking great for a little while there. Uh, well, not in the polls, but you know, he was talking the talk. But then Donald Trump swooped in and stole all the crazies. And now, well, what, what's left for Ted Cruz? You know, though, for a Canadian Cuban, you're doing really well for the right-wing racist, like, KKK crowd. So I gotta give you credit there, right? Jeb Bush will probably be left standing after a few primaries, right? Um, Jeb was looking great in, like, 1999. I mean, he really was the guy that we all wanted in 1999. But his brother swooped in. And uh, kind of like the way Donald Trump is swooping in now. The problem is, everyone that thought Bush 43 was so great despite everything, they're kind of starting to turn now. They're not so keen, oh, we were wrong in Iraq. And I think Jeb is going to be swept under the rug with the history that is known as W. Rick Perry is looking more presidential than ever. Almost like Hollywood on the way to a Barbara Walters interview with those glasses, right? But I think there just may have been one too many gas. I mean, come on guys, Mitt Romney said no to another run. You think the two Ricks, Perry or Santorum, have a shot? Hey, well, that's our rundown of the Sweet 16. And now for our prediction, out of all 16, out of this huge jumble mumble mess, who do we think is gonna win the GOP nomination? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, pretty much Hillary, because the only one who comes out on top in all this mess is Hillary. So, hey, until next time, I'm Walt. Follow me on Twitter at Walt Frazier, and we'll see you next time.